In this video we've been taking a look at the online solutions auto run manager. It's called Osram for short. Now you can get it from this website here www.online-solutions.ru It's a free web program and it's a really useful program. You can get a portable version here which is the version I'm going to be using an installation package. You can also change the actual uh, visual themes and skins of the actual application as well. So what can it do? Well it actually uh, controls the cleanliness of components and applications that are automatically loaded or started under certain conditions without users consent. In other words it, it, you, you can use it to control malware and, and that sort of stuff. Okay, So let's have a little look at the program itself. There's a lot of information here on the actual website if you want to go through it or trawl through it all. Okay, I've had a quick read through um, but there, as you can see here it's got a load of useful information on here if you want to actually read up it yourself okay so I've already downloaded it you can download them from this little section here so uh, I'm going to have a little look at the program here now I've got Windows 7 here and it also works on Windows 7 as well so I'm going to fire this up and it just loads in like uh, like this it's just actually starting to scan everything just let that finish and uh, once that's loaded in we should be able to have a little look at the actual application itself now it's got an online malware scanner as well as you can see I'll show you that in a second okay this is clicked in now as you can see online mal malware scanner and uh, basically all you need to do is just go next here I've not used this facility yet so I'm just going to have a little uh, quick look at it and uh, it's going to actually uh, go through this sort of uh, process here and check certain stuff so I'm just going to actually uh, put show full uh, file path go next it's now actually uh, coming through now what this is this is another program I'm going to have a little look at this helps you control uh, Windows 7 so a uh, Windows 7 firewall it's just another little application I'll maybe talk about that in another video but I'm just going to apply that the problem with it is it does kill the connection so you may need to actually uh, do it again which is a bit of a shame so I'll, I'll start that again that's the downfall side of that little firewall application okay it should work now okay there we go so as you can see here we've got trusted trusted all the way down here and it's scanning because uh, it's in a virtual box environment you can actually see it's uh, not scanned a lot of programs but if you was doing this on your actual computer it would have a lot more um, files that is scanned okay we've got a couple of unknown ones here and these are actually the Windows 7 firewall service uh, control it's that application I was on about, it's this program here, we'll actually uh, go over that on another video, it gives you full control of the actual firewall. Anyway, so as you can see that's the actual program there, now this is the actual application itself, the Auto Run Manager, and as you can see it's got a lot of useful stuff in here, you can actually uh, click on, let's click on the um, entries, and as you can see we've got drivers, a good thing about this here as well, it's going to be great for malware and stuff like that because actually all we need to do here, say for instance I was clicking on this here, um, I can right click here and it gives me a load of useful uh, tools to use and I can actually say jump to the registry and what it will do is it will take me to the registry uh, key for this part here, so all I need to do here, right click, jump to the registry and it will open up the registry for that file, okay vboxmouse.sys file as you can see there so it's given me the actual file so if that was a virus or a malware you can actually delete that file then very easily and uh, as you can see you've got a right click here you can turn off and turn on also copy the registry key name the text and also file name so you can actually copy it gives you the ability to copy as well also uh, jump to file as well which is uh, it will take you to the actual file where the actual file is as well as the registry key which is very very useful for uh, when you're doing cleaning of malware viruses trojans anything like that so it will actually take you to that location so say for instance we just looked for that uh, file there it would actually take us to that point which is very useful as you can see vbox sf.sys so if I do that again we 
need to do now I forgot what a bloody name is VBOX SF uh, there it is there it's actually highlighted it for me which is very useful okay so as you can see very uh, if that was a virus I could actually right click on that now and delete that file okay so that's the useful part of it as well what else has it got there it's also got search key info via Google which means you could actually do a search for that key like that on Google which is very useful as well and also it will as you can see VirtualBox is brought up the actual uh, website itself and also uh, a few other links there you can actually come through so if you've got a bit of a problem there you can actually cross reference it on the actual uh, internet itself which is very useful I thought okay and also scanning using online malware scanner you can actually uh, scan and again just scan that file you see so now what we're doing now is we're using the online scanner and it's saying that file is now trusted and it's okay so we don't have to worry about that okay and if you wanted to put the show full file path there you can actually do that and it would show you that we've actually got that's where the actual location of that file is this is all pointing obviously towards um, malicious files and stuff okay which is very useful okay so it's done a little check on that another useful tool there so let's have a look I think that's all those little right click tools there and as you can see if you wanted to you've got the delete file there if it was a malicious file and you've also got move to file to quarantine but obviously because it's a safe file it's not going to allow you to do that because it's okay but obviously you've got scan by antivirus I haven't got an antivirus installed on here but you've got scan by antivirus and move to quarantine as I said okay uh, delete from the storage as well okay let's have a look at the next tab and see what else we've got files we can actually uh, come through here um, you can see the same thing again really uh, pretty much uh, we've gone through all these jump to uh, com class as well which will actually jump you to that location in the registry which is very useful again and uh, also uh, there was a uh, dump file as and also yeah that's pretty much it on there so we've got the actual dump file as so let's have a little look at that so it'll actually uh, let you take the actual file as you can see there and dot dump okay make a dump file out of it so let's have a little look at um, some of the other bits and pieces we've got here we've got an expand here which is just obviously putting this on as you can see and uh, let's just get rid of that firewall set in there okay so uh, what else have we got okay search we've got a search facility on here as well which means you can actually do a search for keys uh, value data and so on the name lots of other useful stuff there and also details is a little tab at the bottom there as you can see when I cl uh, click details it goes off if you wanted to put details back on again you could do by pushing down here or by this bit up here okay and this just gives you the details of this file okay and it also gives you the status of it which is done by colors which is very useful as well um, unless you're colorblind <laughs> but anyway this gives you the actual uh, color sequences here uh, file strength by Microsoft systems default value and also file found but contains uh, no detailed information that's what that yellow one is for there blue and as you can see you can go through hidden registry uh, rootkit activity hidden file rootkit activity so and so so and so but there's no red files there okay so when you're sifting through these you can actually see whether they have come up red okay and you've got pink and white okay so that is very very useful as I said unless you're colorblind but it's a very useful way of doing things also settings inside here you've got your settings which you can actually mess around with I've just left these as default to be honest and uh, appearance again you can use this area for skins changing the skins you can download the skins from their website I uh, should have maybe done one and show you but it's pretty much self explanatory point to where that skin is on your system and then just click OK and that will put that skin on OK if you get a problem give us a shout and uh, I'll let, make a quick video for you uh, and that's about it really this is just about the actual application itself who makes it and, and where the actual website is um, and there you go antivirus is uh, any rootkit plus uh, hips which is a pretty good uh, 
really good application i really do like this and uh, i think you should give it a go and especially if you're an it technician you'll love this sort of uh, application okay my name is brian from brightech.co.uk i hope you've enjoyed these videos if you do please show your support and uh, rate and subscribe to my channel and also uh, if you've not joined my forum yet get yourself over there and start posting okay guys because it seems to be me doing all the posting and no one else is doing any at the moment okay thanks a lot guys for your support keep watching these videos I should make some more very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.